The new BMW M6 convertible is a seriously beautiful machine. It's got 10% more power, 30% more peak torque than its predecessor, and it's boasting an aggressive 4.3 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers. But it's the price of a small studio apartment, so is it worth the cash? That beautifully burbling bass audio is the M Twin Turbo V8. It's a fabulous thing. You could drive around with that thing warbling along with you all day. It's a seven speed transmission with the M dual clutch technology. Another neat piece of M technology is the M differential, which optimizes traction by splitting the power to the rear wheels independently to each wheel, depending on where you need the traction most. I like the concept of that sure-footed approach. Not sure we need it driving around the city of Sydney today. It's a terrific interior. It's got a lot going on, but it's pretty subtle. It's got hints of carbon fibre, but they're good hints. It's rich without being ostentatious and overstated. But best of all, the top goes up and down at speed, up to 40 k's an hour, which means if it starts raining, you can get that thing up without having to pull over. Genius. Okay, you know, I said that I love the high revving V8, but I have to say in city traffic, I'd love it to low rev for a while. The high rev is starting to drive me crazy. And the other thing that's driving me crazy in this car is this very bizarre, shaky little shifter. It has no park on it. If you pop it in one slight direction, it pops you into manual drive, but another little fidget will get you into auto. For a thing designed by German engineers, I'm not feeling the precision BMW. I'm pretty tightly held in my heavily contoured bucket seat. Now my passengers in the back will be almost dipped down out of sight in their super scooped bucket seats. So I'm not 100% sure that uh, Granny in the back is going to be so comfortable, but it certainly looks sporty. You'd love to hit a track in this car, but as an everyday drive, especially in the traffic that I am tootling through, hitting every red light, I'd like a little bit more squish in the wheel and actually under my bum. Nevertheless, if I was doing a road trip with lots and lots of bends and winds, I think I would love that active differential and I would love this Sport Plus steering. So $308,500 plus on road costs. If you won the lottery, what would you do? You could have a Maserati, you could have a 911, you could have a Jag or you could have this the best that BMW M have to offer. And I have to say, if it was my money, there's a lot resting with the M brand. They're tops in technology and this body cannot be beaten. I think I'd take it. Quick spin verdict, three and a half stars. Mm -hmm.